What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. As you can see, we are back in the hometown of Toledo, Ohio. It's a winter wonderland and I've tried to make this video three or four times already and it just didn't turn out the way I liked it to be. So you know what? We're going to do a different video. We have three lessons I learned in 2017. Now my number one biggest piece of advice for 2017 that I've learned personally is take a freaking risk. Now what this all really means is the, it began with the District Barbello trip back in March when I met Brooklyn Hillenbrand, Peter, Kevin, all those guys from Ape Athletics, even Max Tuning, you have to take a risk. Some people won't drive nine hours to go see them, but luckily I had family down there. I didn't have to pay to stay anywhere. So if you have an opportunity, take it. Don't be afraid to just take a chance and go do it, even if it's a nine hour drive. I truly think if I didn't have the balls to make that trip, I wouldn't have gone to see Michael Corey, I wouldn't have gone to see Nick Bear, I wouldn't even drive to Palmyra, a seven hour trip in the car to see my boy Yush and Tyler Temple. It just, you have to make some moves, make your own path, and that's what the biggest thing I've learned this year. Did I mention that it was cold outside? Man. Some of you might be saying to yourself, Cameron, you're wearing shorts. <laughs> I know. I just realized I haven't had a chance to show you the goodies that I got for Christmas. And that starts with the Tommy Boy Callahan Auto Parts t-shirt my Padre got me. I love that movie. Chicken wings. Tell me likey. Tell me want wingy. And before all the haters say I got a new backpack, yes, it was time to get a new one. There was holes in the Alpha Elite odyssey black bag i had and it was time to get an upgrade so we got a new backpack i have no idea what this brand is but it fits the needs i need for a bag if you watch russell you know that he has wireless headphones he uses when he works out and i thought i would really like a pair to get those because you know i work out the cord gets in the way and it makes for a bad day so we got some wireless headphones finally don't have to worry about the skull candy ones that keep breaking on me every single week or every other week when I have to spend $10 on a new pair of headphones and these are golden. Also, I got a new lens. This is an F1.8 50 millimeter lens. So this will get you a very, very close shot and I'm gonna be using this for edits I have coming in the future when I get Final Cut Pro and we can make some sick edits, some sick transitions, some better content. It'll be more crystal clear for you all to see my beautiful face in action. Number do -si do is say yes more than no. What this really means is it goes with the risk factor and you know what, if people ask you to do something, try something new, you never know where that's gonna take you. If you wanna go to a new restaurant, try it out, you never know if you're gonna like it unless you go. If you have friends you haven't seen in a while and you wanna see them, you know what, you go. You say yes, you try new experiences, experience life and that is a big thing I learned and that is do -si do oh hey you're still here i'm just watching chris lee knows best you know that really out there show actually this show kind of reminds me of my grandma she likes coca-cola a lot and one time my dad saw Savannah in Vegas and I said, Hey dude, why don't you go with that number? <laughs> yeah. So if you guys didn't know, my aunt is like at one of the head people at Performix Supplements and she sent me these energy drinks and they remind me a lot of Red Bull. If I remember what Red Bull really tastes like, I think it has 275 milligrams of caffeine. Tastes pretty good and it just gives me a lot of energy. Feel like Jojo the Indian Circus Boy with a pretty new pet. Well then I get all excited. I'm like Jojo the Indian Circus Boy with a pretty new pet. A little update on the man cave. My dad got this big Pulp Fiction banner across the wall. And for Christmas I bought him this collage of superheroes and we're gonna put it probably around this area. 
I said put it up above the TV, but you know what? I'll just put a picture right here. I think it's pretty cool, and I think he has a good idea where the superheroes would be facing the TV the way that the picture's laid out. And here's our last little lesson I've learned in 2017. Last thing I learned in 2017 is just to let the past be the past. I think in the beginning of all my social media, I was very, very dark and I was, I was holding on to a grudge for a, quite some time and this year I've learned to just let that go, do my own thing and everything will just fall into place from there and I think you can see that through all my content from the beginning to now and even on Instagram I can feel just there's a, a difference between the content I'm making now is a lot more positive into who I want to be and to inspire others instead of just doing it to do it and having a grudge mentality or a very negative aspect of that content. So. Hope you guys like the video, subscribe, holla at your boy down in the comments below, and of course, I will see you guys in 2018.